In this recent video that I recorded, I showed you how to unlock 20 digital product ideas in under 30 seconds using one single AI prompt. But a bunch of you asked me in the comments, hey, this is great, but what do I do next? How do I make the product and how do I sell it? Can you show me how to do that? That's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. And my bad for not showing you the first time. And what I'm going to do is simply go back in to ChatGPT and I'm going to share my screen. What we're going to do is revisit the original prompt because some of you haven't seen the original prompt and then we're gonna work off of that one. So this is the original prompt right here, which is I work as a, and you just put in your job. In this, in this example, it was a third grade teacher. Some of the other examples, uh, I did a nurse, I did I think an HR manager, but whatever it is that you're doing for work, you put it right here. Tell me 20 problems that I deal with daily that other people would pay to avoid. You hit enter and then it gives you the list of 20 ideas. Now, if you don't wanna do anything with your job, then don't put a skill or an interest in here. Like I'm good at woodworking. I like to ride motorcycles. I like to make craft beer at home. Whatever it is you're thinking about starting a business around or a digital product around, that's what you would put instead of third grade teacher. The key is tell me 20 problems that I deal with daily that other people would pay to avoid. That's the, that's the prompt that has the magic with these digital products. So we have the 20 ideas here. Now this can be overwhelming for a lot of you and you might just be like, I don't know what to pick. This is too hard and leave. Don't do that to yourself. It's not necessary. So just put this prompt in. This will help you because most of you will get stuck. And just say, I want you to help me eliminate the ideas that won't be profitable. That's it. You can put whatever you want in here, but I'm, I'm just guiding you here because there's too many. Here's what we're looking for in a profitable idea. Now it's gonna go through what's not likely to be profitable or hard to sell because that's why we're here, right? So then it's like, all right, here's your short list of 10 profitable idea foundations to build from. Then it's saying, hey, get want help picking the best one for your first $100 digital product. We'll do that fast. Just say the word. And I'm just going to say yes. And that's what we're trying to do is earn $100 because you do not need to build a retirement business around this first digital product, right? It's likely going to be something different. You're likely going to change it or have other stuff that you're going to offer. The key here is to make one, solve a problem, pick an audience and go try to make a hundred bucks. Like that's the win. That's the goal. You're not trying to quit your job with your first digital product. We need to be realistic here. So here are the, qu here are the questions that it's asking to help. Which of the 10 topics below feels easiest for you to teach right now, right? It's, it's guiding you through it. What do you think you can teach? Do you want your first product to be for? This is the key. Who are you helping? You don't want to help everyone. Be specific. Homeschoolers. All right. I'm going to just go with, and I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about this. Do you already have something made, a lesson, a doc, a system? Now, I'm not a teacher, so I have no idea what we're doing here. So what I'm going to do is use the dictate tool in ChatGPT, which is this button right down here, and just speak into it. I like that better than typing. I'm showing you both typing and talking. I prefer to talk, but I do a little bit of both. Okay, this is what I want to do. I want, let's do something around homeschooling for parents, like parents that want to homeschool their kids. And I want to keep this as simple as possible. I want to avoid like all of the tech, learning how to sell stuff. I just want to keep it as simple and basic as possible, get some quick wins, make my first $100, and then we'll take it from there. When we're building this product, I want it to help the buyer get a win within 10 to 15 minutes. Like I want their problem to be solved quickly. That is the goal here. The reason that I say that, so now it's trans, it's transcribing. The reason that I say that I want a quick win in 10 minutes is a lot of you think that everything needs to be overloaded with information and it needs to look pretty. And when then the meat of it is garbage. Like the, what matters is that the meat of the of the PDF or whatever it is that you're offering, that needs to be awesome. Not the cover, not your landing page, not your website. Like this, you need to solve the problem. People pay for solutions. They're not paying for book covers and titles and all that stuff. That's just what hooks them in. You need to be able to solve the problem, right? So here's the audience. Parents who want to homeschool, start, solve a real homeschooling problem in, in 10 to 15 minutes. And your goal is the first $100 online with no tech, ne no tech he headaches and no ads. What problem are we solving, right? Fast win. Here are the ideas. What do I even teach? 
what do I even teach? Okay, they're looking for this. People who are homeschooling their kids are looking for this. Now, I don't have any experience with this, but I guarantee you that that's what they're looking for. How do I know my kid is learning enough? What are the best resources? My top recommendation, your third grade homeschool starter, what it solves, what it goes in, pricing $7. It's a fast win. It's easy to say yes to. I might charge it more than seven dollars how to sell it with no ads facebook groups for homeschoolers when you're when we're doing selling and i am going to show you here in a minute some of my lead magnets and some of the stuff that i've created actually related to homeschooling because i do have something that i created related to homeschooling for another course that i have which is a five-day digital product challenge i want you to think about a yard sale or a garage sale if you've ever done one or you've ever been to one and most people have experience with that it's like you are selling stuff. You're selling old stuff, but you're selling stuff and you advertise that. Like you're advertising that in Facebook groups or like your local association maybe. Maybe you're putting it on Facebook Marketplace. You're telling people about it and then they're coming. So you have to do the same thing with your PDF, with your product that you're building, your digital product, is you gotta tell people about it. In the beginning, you can be you can do it that simple and that basic is just go to people that you know, like go to a network of people who are looking to teach their kids at home, do homeschooling, find where they are and go advertise this thing. So you don't have to worry about ads and websites and all that stuff. Like, hey, I've got this thing. Let me know if you're interested. It solves this problem, all right? So here's the next step. Want me to help you write the actual checklist now because that's, that's what we're looking at here is a starter checklist, all right? So yes, help me write the checklist. Just write it here here and I'll create the Google Doc on my own. The reason that I do this is because it will literally create the Google Doc for you and that's fine, I just like to edit it. So it's making it all pretty with emojis and stuff and if you don't like this, then don't do it. You can edit it in Google Docs. And now I'm gonna show you really quick my lead magnet. Okay, and I'm also gonna to talk to you a little bit about how to, how to format this. It's saying, hey, you can use all of these resources. Uh, this is part of the checklist, right? So it's giving you all this stuff, top. This is a nice checklist. And then it's telling you what to do. So you, would, this, you wouldn't just copy and paste this and sell it. Like you gotta, you're the teacher in this example and you know what to do. And if you've homeschooled your kids, then you can also create something like this. You've done it before. Like if you solved your own problem, you can create this. So what I'm going to do is show you my lead magnet, all right, which is my skill to business formula. And if you want this, I will leave a link in, a descrip in the description. Over 5,000 people have downloaded this. This is going to teach you how to come up with a business idea in under 13 minutes, right? I said 13 minute video. And based on your nine to five job, the skills that you have in your job that you're already getting paid for, a life transformation that you went through that you could help other people with, or a skill or an interest that you have outside of your nine to five that you thought about turning into a business. It's 100% free. And this is the page that you land on when you download it. And this is, a, this is a landing page. You don't have to do this, but what I want to show you here is that this button right here, get your prompts, when I click it, goes to the skill to business formula, which is the lead magnet. And it's a Google document and it's one page and 5,000 people have used this. There's people in here right now looking at it. It's, it's early in the morning, so there's only a few in here, but they are going through the steps. The reason that I like a Google document, especially with what I do, is that if you've ever downloaded a PDF, it's a pain in the ass to copy and paste prompts or anything that's in there. It's like, oh my God, I gotta go to my desktop. It's like Google a document, you can copy and paste. It's a lot easier and that's all this is. And how you would share this. So if this is your lead magnet, right? Now I'm gonna build this right now. So let's just go into Google Documents. I'm gonna go and make a copy. All right, and we are going to now share this tab. All right, so I have this. I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT and I'm going to copy and paste this entire thing, which is the, the checklist, all right? And then I'm gonna go back over to the copy that we made and I'm gonna click edit, select all, paste. So now I've got this in here and I'm not going to do it in this video because I respect your time, but you would format this to your own liking, right? You don't want it all bold and you might have to play with it. Like it takes a little bit of work. It's, you're gonna have to mess with it a little bit but it won't take you as long as you think if you're like, oh, I gotta build this in Canva and I gotta make a cover and I gotta do it. Like this is the simplest and fastest way to do it. When you're ready to share this, all right, this is how you do it. You simply click this share button right here. Right now it's private only to me. 
So click share, and then it's anyone with the link, all right? But then it's gonna say viewer, viewer only. So when that's done, then anyone who has the link, right, you would basically just copy this right here, links copied, and you could paste it, save it somewhere, and that goes everywhere. Like, hey, download the thing, it's right here, once they pay for it, which is exactly what I do with my skill to business formula right here. Like, this is a shared link. People are in here, no one can change it. They can make a copy of it, so you just tell them. I just tell them in the walkthrough video, file, make a copy. Then they can do whatever they want with it. Some people don't like that whatever. I mean, I don't, I'm not worried about people taking my prompts, like they already have them. All right. So then the next thing that you're, that you're wanting to do here, I'm going to go back to the chat GPT thread. We're saving this thread. You want to do everything in the same thread is you have it, you're done with it. Now I'm going to show you one thing, all right, that you might want to do. And I'm going to go to a tool called system.io. And for my digital product challenge, by the way, they have a free version. I'm using the free version. This is not a live funnel. But what I've basically done is I've created a sales page, an order form, and a thank you page, and it's super basic. So if I click view funnel, then this is what I created. So we have a headline. Are you ready to give your child a high quality education at home, but don't know where to start? Get started with homeschooling the right way without the overwhelm. I made this in Canva. It was a template. You can use the free version. It's a, just a simple template. I changed the headline. I put the, the subheadline in here. ChatGPT helped me with it. And then the rest of it is literally the, a Google document, all right, that I created. And it's a very simple landing page. This looks way better on mobile. I'm on my desktop. One page, give it to me now, 17 bucks, and everything looks awesome. So this is not real, by the way, that I made this up for the purposes of the tutorial, but this is the checkout page. And then after that, they would go to the delivery page, which would be, thank you for your purchase. Congrats, check your spam folder. It's on your way. In the meantime, let me know what you think. DM me on Instagram, or you can send them to your YouTube channel, wherever you want them to go. That's how we're looking to do this. That's one thing that you can do is use system.io. It's free. They will show you how to do it. Like they have really, really good tutorials in here. And you can build this three-step funnel. Very basic, very simple. You get one product, you get one funnel, and then you can collect email addresses. And starting out, it's very good. I'm not going to give you a system.io tutorial here, but there are literally thousands of videos on YouTube that show you how to put this stuff together. It's not that difficult. However, if you would just prefer to sell it without tech, then you can just say something like this, which is, so I'm gonna do the yard sale reference. Okay, so I've created the checklist in Google Documents. Now I'm focused on making my first $100. I want to think about the yard sale reference. Like if I promote a garage sale or a yard sale, you know, I'm going in Facebook groups, I might go in marketplace, I'm telling people that I know, like maybe I'm, maybe I'm even hitting my, my contact list of people that are in my phone. I'm basically telling everybody within my circle that I got this thing going on. So let's employ that strategy for this homeschool starter checklist. Then it's going to transcribe what I'm saying. We hit the enter button. Yes, this is exactly the right play. ChatGPT agrees with me a lot and probably will agree with you too. And you always want to be like, are you sure? Like, you know, is are you sure this is the right way? Because it can be very supportive and you have to just make sure that you're checking it, right? Because sometimes it's, I'm like, you never disagree with me. Can you tell me that this is the right move? Okay, the yard sale rule, tell everybody. And I just literally made that up. You're not launching a digital product. You're just letting everyone know you made something helpful, like you're selling an extra bike or a used lawnmower. That, that's a bad reference, I think. But the idea of promoting it. So where to promote it? Simple and free. Facebook groups. Like post it in Facebook groups. Marketplace, your personal uh, Instagram feed, your, your phone contacts, contacts, group texts, local mom, parent groups, that those are those those groups are absolute money. And I know that they have rules about what you can promote in there, but whenever I need something like for my home or I don't I don't know something, I don't have the answer to something, I'll tell my life, I'm like, can you find somebody to fix our refrigerator in the mom's group? And it's like immediate. And everyone, it's there's a lot of references in there, good references in there and good reviews. And it's like, I don't even think twice. It's like, if the moms say it's good, then, then I'm gonna hire them. 
because they said so. So that's really powerful if you can get in on that. And th this is not a one attempt thing. You can't expect to do it one time. Like you got to show up multiple times. You know, you're at the yard sale for three days. You're not there for one day. You're talking about it for probably a week or two in advance. A lot, they advertise it in advance. When you're thinking about selling, I want you to just stop for a minute here and, and pay attention to this really, really closely. When you're selling digital products, you are not in the selling business. You are in the reminding business. Most people are not buying the first time. They're buying like the fifth time, the seventh time, the 10th time they see you. And it is your job to get in front of them more than once and definitely more than three times. There's a very powerful stat that I'm going to share with you that I had someone on my podcast and I might have shared this in the last video, which was 80% of your sales are going to come on or after the fifth attempt. 90% of your competition will quit after the third attempt. Knowing that, I always think about, that's never left me, I always think about, I gotta get to five to seven all the time. And I get beyond, way beyond five to seven. I tell people about my stuff every single day. If I wanted to say that I have a job, that's my job, is to let people know about my stuff. That is the only thing that matters in business, especially in the beginning, is you have something to offer and your job is to tell as many people as you can possibly think of about it multiple times. And whatever you're thinking, it needs to be more than that. I'm telling you, it's not enough. It has to be probably five or 10 times what you're thinking right now. Don't let that scare you. It's not that hard to do. So how to collect money. So we're, we know how to market it. Now, how do we collect the money? Keep it simple. Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, this is for a hundred bucks. I'm okay with this. I really am. Gumroad, you can set up a Gumroad account. You could use system.io if you wanted to, if you feel comfortable building a three-step funnel or even one step, you get the landing page and the checkout on the bottom and it, and it connects to a Stripe account and you collect it and then you can deliver it with that. So that's totally fine as well. But if you don't want to deal with the tech at all, like this is the way to, to go is just collect the money. And then when you get that first hundred dollars, then you can systematize it, which is what it says right here. So then it's asking you, let me know if you want all this other stuff, post step, post templates. Like I think at this point we're done. There's no reason to overcomplicate this. So what you're going to do is build the thing, right? Like make this thing. So here's the home school, home school starter checklist, format it, make it pretty. Make sure that it's view only, right? Make it your own and then start promoting it. Like that's literally all that you need to do. And if you don't, if you overcomplicate it, you'll never get to that point. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm gonna leave you uh, the description. In the description, I'm going to leave you the skill to business formula. It's free. Over 5,000 people have downloaded it. It's going to help you. And you're also gonna see how I operate my funnel, that will be helpful to you as well because it's not super complex. It's very, very simple. And then I'm gonna leave the prompts that I used in this video. All right, so now you have your idea, how to get your digital product idea, how to narrow it down, right? From 10, from 20 to 10, how to put it together, right? On a Google document, very simple. And then how to make a simple, simple funnel using system.io or you can just use the Google Doc method and then how to advertise it. Go make your first hundred bucks. That's all that matters. Like, don't think you're gonna retire off of this. You can make a hundred dollars because you make a hundred dollars in your job. Like that, that's already been proven that people have paid you that. So go out and take your skills, take your knowledge, take something that you're good at, that you know about and go help people and they will pay you. But you gotta show up more than once. Don't do one attempt and be like, well, that didn't work. Of course it's not gonna work. It will never work if you only try it once. You gotta be thinking five to seven times that I'm reminding people. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Let's go.